Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, dear friends, Chair Ulrik Svarva, CEO Telef Tolaifson, an investor without an objective is a traveler without destination. I don't know who said that first, but what I do know, however, is that for 25 years, the Norwegian investment fund for developing countries, Nordfund, has been investing with clear objectives and excellent results. In 1991, Gro Brundtland's government initiated a process of rethinking Norwegian aid policies adopted to a post-Cold War, uh, War world. And that resulted in a recommendation stating that there was a strong need for functioning programs for investment support to developing countries. Furthermore, that Norway on this basis should establish a state investment fund for private sector development in the South as it was formulated. And in 1997, Norfund was born. Inflation adjusted, the state budget grants to Norfund has increased tenfold from 1998 to today. And Norfund is now our most important tool for strengthening private sector in developing countries. It plays a crucial role in our efforts to reduce poverty. And I believe that creating more and better jobs is at the core of all our efforts for combating poverty. This is crucial to meeting the UN Sustainable Development Goals, particularly goal number one, which is to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. According to the World Bank, a staggering 1.7 million people enter Africa's job market every month. 1.7 million people every month. And the lack of access to capital is a key barrier to the development of businesses that can create jobs that aren't needed. We see this both in the agricultural sector and in other businesses, especially the small and medium-sized ones. Norfund's work of investing in the private sector is not easy particularly taking into consideration that around 40% of Norfund's portfolio is in the least developed countries, LDCs. Investing where others will not means taking risks and facing challenging dilemmas. As owners, we recognize that we may not always get it right. Nevertheless, Risk-taking is in the mandate that we have given you. Norfund makes things happen that otherwise would not. In Africa, more than half of the total employment is in agriculture. Investing in agriculture, va uh, agricultural value chains is key to improving food security and unlocking the enormous potential in this sector. In March, I had the privilege, which, which was mentioned by the moderator, of visiting one of Norfund's investments, Lilongwe Dairy in Malawi. 10,000 smallholders are deliv delivering milk to uh, that dairy. And by providing farmers the opportunity to sell their milk at a guaranteed minimum price, Lilongwe Dairy is giving farmers more stability and a diversified income. And that enables them to invest further in their farms and improve their families' living standards. The Lilongwe Dairy illustrates how we can contribute in a scalable and sustainable way, creating jobs, developing ag agriculture, building value chains, increasing the income of smallholder farmers and improving food security at the same time. Renewable energy has been the largest investment area of Norfund since the very beginning. The impact has been remarkable. Just last year alone, 3.5 million new households, 3.5 million new households were provided with access to electricity by companies in Norfund's portfolio. 
An important objective for my government is to unite Norway's climate and development policies. This inspired the speedy setup of the new 10 billion Norwegian Crown Climate Investment Fund, which Norfund is now managing. The new fund became operational, uh, operational only this spring, a, few, a couple of months ago, and I'm happy to note that Norfund has already put 1.8 billion Norwegian crowns to work in efforts to reduce or avoid emissions. <laughs> and Norway, uh, Norfund is aiming to invest 2.8 billion crowns by the end of the year and the fund's ambition is to contribute to a total financing of 10 Norwegian crown for every crown invested by the fund, and that is truly impressive. The first investment, which I had the privilege to announce in Cape Town this spring, will alone contribute to avoid emissions, and listen to this, to avoid emissions equivalent to 12.5% of Norway's annual emissions. The Climate Investment Fund is an important part of, Nor uh, of Norfund's future. This milestone is also an opportunity to acknowledge the team whose efforts we are now building on. I take this opportunity to thank all of those who have contributed to building Norfund over the years, both employees and board members. I also take the opportunity to express my gratitude to Norfund's past chairs, Arve Jonsen, Einar Stensnes, and Kristin Klemets, as well as the prior managing directors, Per Emil Linde and Kjell Rulan. I also know that for the first time in three years, all the Norfund staff from regional offices around the world are gathered here in Oslo. Thank you all for making Norfund what it is today. For a quarter of a century, Norfund has been a traveler with a clear destination, facilitating businesses, creating jobs, and reducing poverty. I am very proud to be part of that journey. And it is a great pleasure for me to open today's conference, which is dedicated to sharing and reflecting on the insights gathered throughout 25 years. Thank you. <laughs>